Welcome to Automation Training Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn how to develop a program for tank level control. For example, we have a condition like this. So we have a tank. In the tank, we have low level sensor, high level sensor. So we have totally four things. Start push button, stop push button, high level sensor, low level sensor, and we have three out pump, wall one, wall two. So right now what condition they have given us? When I press the start push button, your pump should start. So once your pump is start, it pump water into the tank. And uh, normally your tank is empty. So that means the low level sensor will be in on state. So your tank level will increase. When the low level sensor is on, wall one should open and wall 2 should be in flow state so that your tank level will increase. So once it reach high level, wall 1 should close and wall 2 should open. So like this, the process should keep on repeating. So you can see the condition in here. When we press the start push button, pump should on. Low level sensor is on. So when the low level sensor is on, wall 1 open, wall 2 should be in closed state. So that your tank level will increase. But remember, in this, if the tank level is above low level sensor, now immediately the sensor will off. If the sensor is uh, off, what happens? The wall get closed immediately. But in our condition, they given clearly that wall 1 should get closed only when it reaches high level sensor. So even though the sensor is off also, the wall should remain in open. So we have to use latching concept in this flow. Okay, so we'll try to develop a logic for this. So right now, we have start and stop operation. Or you can say latching and latching. Or you can call it as the oil starter also. Direct online standard. So the program is same. So I'm using a memory address in here. So the start and stop operation has been given. So once you press the start push button, what should happen? Pump should on first. Then, so I'm using same memory as I input for the next. So when your low level sensor is on, wall one should be in open state. Even sensor is off also wall should remain in open. So I'm using latching. So when it is reaches eye level sensor, then it should get off. So I'm using in here. Another one input eye level sensor. In the next line, mm -hmm. 
So when the eye level sensor is on, valve two should open. If the sensor is off also, it should remain at open. So latching in here. And once it reaches low level sensor, then it should get off. So right now we can check it. So right now when I press the start push button, pump is on. After releasing the start push button also, it remains in on. So right now your tank level is increasing. Since your tank is empty, so definitely the low level sensor will be in on state. So what happens? Valve open. So once the tank level reaches above low level sensor level, the sensor will get off, but still, the valve remains in open state. So the level will keep on increasing. So once it reaches high level sensor, valve won't get closed, valve two will open. So one is, once it is below high level sensor, again it will trip valve. So to avoid that only we giving the latching. So if the sensor is off also, due to latch, valve remains in open. Once low level sensor is on, You can see so your process will keep on oscillating between low level to high level so i hope you understood how to use some latching concept so sometimes the latching the parallel output address can be used in front or in between so depending on your logic only it is so right now if you want to stop the process now you can press the stop push button all the output will off so again, you have to release it back. So once you press the start push button, then only again it will start. So in the next class, we'll see in the same condition, instead of a digital sensor level switch, we'll go with analog. So to know the tank level, I'm going to use a level transmitter if you're using level transmitter, what are the changes we have to make? We'll see. Thank you.